probe into the 2019 death of Elijah McClain uncovers problems within the Aurora Police Department. Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser describes some of the findings from the report. This investigation concluded that the Aurora Police Department and Aurora Fire and Rescue have a pattern and practice of violating rights secured by state and federal law. Specifically, we found that Aurora Police has a pattern and practice of racially biased policing, using excessive force and failing to record required information when it interacts with the community. Moreover, we concluded that Aurora Fire has a pattern and practice of administering ketamine in violation of the law. So if you, you put uh, the Aurora Police Department, then you start putting these other departments they're investigating, uh, and all of a sudden, you start realizing you're 5, 10, 20, 30, 50. We can go on and on and on. Uh, what happened to all of those uh, few bad apples, Reese? Well, like Dr. Carr said, I mean, the system is working as designed. This is not a bug. It is a feature. Um, it's only when something goes viral in Elijah McClain's case. I mean, it was a full year, I believe, later after he was killed by the police that that situation even got any attention because the video went viral and it was horrific. As long as we don't hear about it, then the system is working as designed. And every now and again, when we do see something that goes viral and it goes viral enough, not just, you know, it's circulating on Twitter for a day, then they try out people to say, oh, this is an aberration and there are all these protocols that are being breached and maybe it goes away. People have low, uh, short attention spans or there's another police department somewhere else in the country that's doing what police officers and police departments often do. And so, you know, this stuff, I don't, I don't mean to sound at all desensitized to it or flippant about it, but this is the reality of policing in America. And we're going to have to, to Dr. Turner's point, I think what is going to have to change is that white people are going to have to stop sacrificing their own up to the police, too, because the police kill plenty of white people. They abuse plenty of white people as well, not to the extent that they do it to us, where there are black people around, they're going to target us first, 60% in some cases, you know, in, in Rodeo Drive, they had to think about that. But when there are places where there are no black people around, the white people are the ones that are getting it. But to, to date, the white folks have decided that they're willing to, to subject their, their brethren and their sister to these corrupt police forces just so that they can keep the blacks and the browns in line. Mm -hmm. The thing here is, uh, and this is where, um, uh, Greg, an aggressive Department of Justice matters. This Absolutely. also, for the people out there who say, uh, oh, Joe Biden, he racist, he the same as Donald Trump, I'm just going to hold up to you. Trump Department <laughs> of Justice, where they said we're going to pull back on consent decrees, mm -hmm. we're going to sit here and not investigate uh, police departments, Biden Department of Justice, where Vanita Gupta is over there, Christian Clark is over there, what they are announcing, and, and not just this here, uh, they also announced, I'm going to pull up in a second, um, this uh, investigation of, give me one second, uh, of one of these uh, jail conditions uh, in uh, one of these states. Mm -hmm. uh, give me one second. Uh, yeah, uh, Justice Department, they announced uh, investigation uh, into the conditions in Georgia prisons. So again, for all the people who said, oh, this is the same, they're the same, this is what, how you show the difference. Trump DOJ and a Biden DOJ, totally different. Absolutely. Yes, yes. I think, and this is the, the challenge of struggle. Uh, you know, we heard earlier, you know, as Tiffany was talking, struggle is not something that is won like a television episode over 20 minutes with commercial breaks. Mm. Struggle is waged incrementally. It's, it's hard, it's demoralizing, you don't see the results immediately, but in the nature of struggle is victory as you struggle. So Merrick Garland is no hero. We shouldn't even mm -hmm. know the name Merrick Garland. Mer Mer we know the name of Merrick Garland because of the cowardice of Barack Obama, and we have the cowardice of Barack Obama because we didn't make Obama do what we needed him to do, and the reason we didn't do it is because we, again, in celebrity culture, mistake politicians for people we got to like or not like or be celebrities. Mm -hmm. Politicians are means to an end. And so 
Yes, people say, well, Trump and, and, and Biden are the same. You wouldn't like the Department of Justice if Trump had been able to steal a second term, friends. Oh, my God. You'd be facing a very different... <laughs> di at the same time, however, at the same oh, time, however, Merrick Garland will go as far as he is pushed. Right. There's a Kristen mm -hmm. Clark and a Benita Gupta, as we just heard Reese say, because he was pushed. One of them should be the attorney general, but we'll get there or not, depending on what we do. Finally, this is why, again, you got to support Black Star Network. You have to support Rhoda Martin Unfiltered. Why? Because the conversation like this, somebody's watching this thinking, well, it ain't going to make a difference. No, every push makes a difference. We, we exactly. have to have the, the political logic of an Adam Clayton pal. You have to be smart. You have to be tactical. And, I, and I'm not beating up on Ben Crump or DeMario Simmons or any of those cats. What I'm saying is that they have to now be supplemented, surrounded, and overrun with those of us who understand tactically that there is a role for everyone. Once you vote it, get in the street. Once you get in the street, break off $50 a year for RMU and Blackstar. Once you've done that, call and call unceasingly. Once you've done that, run for local office. Once you've run, to, in fact, do all of that at the same time and watch Watch the progress, because them white boys is coming here this weekend to tear up the damn city again. They're not sitting around trying to figure out what they can do. They simply build a reality and live as if that's the reality. They won the election. Every time they lose, it was stolen. I ain't taking no vaccine, and I'm going to cough in your child's face until you knock all my teeth out and make me stop. And they <sighs> dare us every day to stop them. That mm. is very, actually quite simple when it really comes down to it. And on that particular point there, uh, Doc, uh, that, what, that, that Greg lays out, uh, I was watching a story that uh, they said the Mercers had contributed uh, some $20 million to this dark money group uh, where they don't have to actually disclose uh, who, who their donors are. I mean, look, the reality is uh, these folks, they don't want an aggressive Department of Justice. They don't want an aggressive SEC. They don't want an aggressive... Food and Drug Administration and aggressive CDC. They understand that how Trump gutted the Department of Agriculture, uh, gutted uh, mm -hmm. the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, gutted all of these different places. Uh, them being in charge during a census year, the gathering of that information, that made a difference in terms of how many people got counted. And so uh, it's walking people through these things. And so, and when we talk about this stuff, you cannot just say, well, I'm just going to be only committed to social justice and criminal justice reform without realizing if you do not have the people in place who are more likely to support your issues, then you ain't changing a damn thing. Mm -hmm. no, you're not changing anything. Which, not which, which, which you see there in Mississippi with the yahoos that are in the governor's mansion in the legislature. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand. I mean, we're still here fighting, talking about Medicaid expansion, which has been proven over and over that um, basically the benefits outweigh the risk, that um, there's a whole lot of economic uh, opportunity. Uh, we've been fighting for decades to get uh, the approval of being able to have a lottery. Um, they finally did. We had a black uh, politician that had been trying to lead that for probably 20 something years. So we have it now. And now we got more funds coming in to fix some of these broken roads that's been messed up for years. To try to make it simple, like our previous speakers have said, everybody plays a role in this fight. And silence gives consent. And it's time for all of us to realize that uh, we have some capacity to be able to get where we need to get. So if you think about the human body, we got the head, we got the hands, we got the heart, we got the lungs, we got all these different parts. My heart can't say, you know what? Man, I'm, I'm going to take a break for a couple of months. I'm just going to let the lungs and the brain work that thing out. Uh, my, my brain can't say, you know what? I'm tired. You know, um, this doesn't appear to be affecting me. So right now, you know, I'm going to let the hands deal with this, and I'm going to let uh, the, 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 the gastrointestinal system deal with that. Every part of the body is always working together. Even when you're sleeping, the mm -hmm. body is working. Mm -hmm. When you're sleeping, the heart is pumping. And if your heart does not get enough blood to your brain and give it enough oxygen, it shuts down. There are 16 million Americans with sleep apnea right now, and a lot of them don't realize that they have it. But it's causing increased risk for heart disease and causing increased risk for uh, heart failure, hypertension, all these type of things. But typically, it's not until people have symptoms that they begin to take things serious. So mm -hmm. we don't need to wait as it relates to this whole thing of injustice in America 
for it to happen to us in order for people to speak up. We don't need the white family to wait till it happened to them for them to speak up. So to everyone listening, we have to understand that when you continue to be silent, you're basically suggesting that you agree with everything that's being done. Dr. King said a while back that one of the greatest forms of discrimination is health and justice. He said it's the most shocking and the most humane. But in reality, we can't really separate this versus separate that. We don't even have time to compete anymore. Injustice, whether it's health, whether it's education, whether it's economics, is all related. So we thankful for voices like Roland Martin and Filter because you guys are really addressing all of it. All of mm -hmm. it. Y'all got to support. Y'all got to follow them. Because if we're going to get serious about this thing and we, and we walk now, we realize that, you know, black power and, and we're going to do this, we can't just post hashtags and think we're doing something. We got to get involved. We got to get in the streets. We got to get in the trenches. And like Dr. Carr said, uh, sadly, people have to fear that their life is in danger in order for us to get the most amount of movement at this mm. point. Mm. Can, I add, can I add one more thing? Yeah, go ahead. I just want to point out, too, that this was a state attorney general's um, report and pattern and practices investigation. This is why it's so important that when you go to the ballot box, you vote for all of your state elected officials. That's lieutenant governor, that's attorney general, secretary of state, and some, I'm not sure if they're elected in every state, the governor, mayor, city council, et cetera. The attorney general is the difference between a Daniel Cameron in K uh, Kentucky declining to press charges against the, the cops that murdered Breonna Taylor and didn't even present evidence of their crime to the grand jury about them shooting Breonna Taylor. They didn't even present evidence about her particular assault, death, execution. And Keith Ellison in uh, Minnesota, who, who was the one who determined that charges would be brought against Derek Chauvin. And so it is so important. We're, Everybody wants to look at, if you want to say, oh, Joe is no better than whoever, okay, that's fine. If that's what you want to believe, it's completely ridiculous. But that does not absolve you of your responsibility to be paying attention to who is in your state. Do you know who your state attorney general is? You can't say hmm. anything about Mayor Garland if you don't even know who your own state attorney general is. If you're not putting pressure on your local elected officials and you're not putting pressure on your mayor, you're not going to city council, you're not going to school board things, then there's more work that you can do. Because back to hold my unfiltered video in just one moment. Seek.com is a black-owned company uh, founded by Mary Spiel. It's a virtual reality company where you can actually go there and look at their uh, virtual reality content. A couple of devices they actually have for sale that you might be interested in. First off, their VR headset allows for you to slide your phone right in and experience that virtual reality content uh, on their side of watching 360-degree video. Also, uh, there are 360-degree headphones, a tremendous base used for gaming, Bluetooth, phone calls, you name it. Uh, folks, you can get these two at Seek. Dot com using this promo code RMVIP21, RMVIP21. Uh, you buy one or the other, or even both, a portion of the proceeds come back to us here at Roland Martin Unfiltered. And so uh, we want you to check out Seek.com and give it a try.